After purchasing one of our infrared saunas, be it a Sauna Wellness Pro or one of our RedFit gyms, it's important to know the proper way to clean and maintain it. In this video, we'll show you how to do just that. Please take note of the timestamps in this video in case you need to jump to a specific section. Before getting started, we want to give you a couple of important notes. First, you should never stain, varnish, or paint the interior of the saunas. Doing so would inhibit the ability of the wood to release humidity, which may result in cracking or warping. You may, however, use a polyurethane or wood sealant on the exterior wood, door, and handle, which can help keep your sauna as clean as possible, as these areas tend to get dirtier than others. Also, don't use any artificial finishes, as they may create fumes when the sauna is operating, which can be toxic. For the longevity of your sauna, we recommend unplugging it for 15 minutes at least two times a year. And if you are ever going to leave your sauna unattended for a long period of time, make sure to unplug it for the duration of your absence. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss what you'll need to clean your sauna. To clean your sauna, you're going to need some glass cleaner, preferably natural, a bottle of sauna cleaning solution, a 150 grit sanding sponge, and a couple of towels, preferably microfiber. For the sauna cleaning solution, we just make our own, using a spray bottle filled with some water and a couple of tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. You can also use a vinegar and water mixture if you'd like, but if you don't want to make your own solution, you can always purchase a pre-made cleaning solution online at wellness-usa.com. After each sauna session, be sure to wipe down the bench, floor, and door handle of the sauna with the cleaning solution using a microfiber cloth or towel. At the end of each day that you use your sauna, in addition to the bench and floor, wipe down the walls, heater frames, and backrests with your sauna cleaning solution. Then use a microfiber cloth or towel to wipe it down to dry. After the wood is fully dry, inspect for any areas of moisture or dirt buildup. If you see any buildup, use a 150 grit sanding sponge to lightly sand and clean those areas. Then use your cleaning solution and a towel to wipe away the excess sawdust. Once a week, along with following the daily cleaning steps, it's good to leave your door open for at least two hours to ventilate. If you're able to, leave it open overnight. After leaving the door open, go ahead and wash the door with the glass cleaner if there are any fingerprints, smudges, or dust. We also recommend that you vacuum the interior of the sauna along the floor and wall panels to remove any potential dust that has collected inside. Over time, your sauna might develop stains from sweat. You might be able to get rid of these unsightly marks with your sanding sponge or a stiff brush, but if that doesn't work, use an 80 grit sanding pad first and then finish it up with a sanding sponge. When the sanding is completed, spray the affected area with your sauna cleaning solution and wipe it down with the microfiber cloth or towel. If you followed all the steps to this guide, you should be able to keep your sauna operational and clean for a long time. If you have any questions, reach out to us via our website at wellness-usa.com or give us a call at 1-800-445-8418.